Hey up YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 14 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. With the Demon Wall finally defeated, it's time to GTFO. Before that though, and before we say goodbye to Kate Sith forever, not, Aerosith asks him for one final fortune reading. And because she's insatiable and can't keep her full legs closed, she wants to know how compatible her and Cloud are. As it turns out, Cloud and Aerosith are the perfect match and I'm sure once this is all over, they'll be able to properly settle down and start life together. Cloud? What are you doing, pal? Anyway, off Kate Sith trots to sacrifice himself so Cloud and the gang can recover the black materia. The game really does attempt to pull on your heartstrings a little here by making us feel sorry for Kate Sith, and in a way, it kinda does. So long, cat. I'm sure we'll meet again. Very fucking soon. With the temple gone, Cloud and the gang are now free to grab the Black Materia. That is, right up until our old mate Sephiroth shows up and manipulates Cloud into giving the Materia to him. Off he f***s Materia in hand, and Cloud is so upset with his actions, for some reason he starts kicking the sh** out of his wifey foe lifey. And right on cue, the useless sack of sh** hates Sith 2.0 shows up. Barrett jumps down to try and snap Cloud out of his rage, but Cloud thinks, f*** this, and passes out. Cloud then has a dream where he sees Aerosith in a forest, and she for some reason thinks that she can handle Sephiroth alone. Where are you going, Aerosith? Uh, please come back. I don't think this is a good... Oh, she's gone. Sephiroth then appears from out of the sky and says that he needs to stop her. With sh** trying to get real, Cloud wakes up at the inn in Gongaga and Barrett and Tifa tell Cloud that Aerosith is missing. Cloud explains that she's gone to the City of the Ancients and that Sephiroth is already hot on her heels. So we select our party and set out. Before we can cross through to the City of the Ancients though, we need to go through the Sleeping Forest. And we can only get through the Sleeping Forest by acquiring the Lunar Harp. This nice bloke here says we can excavate it and he'll lend us some of his workers to find it. And because I've played this game a billion times at this point, we get the Lunar Harp on our first try. Anyway, as I was saying, because we've played this game a billion times at this point, we get the Lunar Harp on our second try. We get the Lunar Harp on our third try. We get the Lunar Harp on our fourth try. On our fifth try. On our sixth try. 7th try. We get the Lunar Harp on our 23rd try. Turns out I was digging here, and the Lunar Harp is in fact here. What a pudding. Let me know in the comments below how long this took you to find when you first played this game. Finally, with a harp in hand, we make our way through the Sleeping Forest, pick up the Kujata Summon, and the all-important Water Ring, before heading on into the City of the Ancients. After looting the area for a few extra goodies, we find an abandoned house in the east of the city and settle in for some kip. Cloud is awoken in the middle of the night to a disturbing revelation. He senses that only 22.1% of you who watch these videos are currently subscribed to the channel. So if you could do me a really quick favour, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII content. He also reveals that he can sense Aerosith's presence and that Sephiroth is also on his way. Without hesitation, Cloud, Yuffie and Barrett head off towards the heart of the capital to go and find her. Right then, boys and girls, here we are. We're in the City of the Ancients, uh, the Forgotten Capital, whatever you want to call it these days. We've now reached a really, really, really pivotal moment in the story where it's all going to drastically change. So, what I will tell you at this point, I haven't tagged any of these videos with spoilers because it's a 25 plus year old game. However, if you have been following along, uh, for the last few episodes and maybe you haven't seen the beginning of the story so far, go back and watch everything else and then come back to this video because, like I said, this is a really, really big plot point of the story. This is where the first disc of the original ends. We are about to go into a boss fight, but there is a little bit of something that happens before that. So what I'll do now is I'll just show you how we've set the characters up going into this next boss fight. Let's have a look. Well, you'll see that we've brought Yuffie in because, like I said to you in a few videos back, she will start to become a staple of the party moving forwards purely just because she's long range. Um, but let's have a look and see what we've done. Now, in terms of equipment, we have picked up a very, very important piece of equipment on the way into the Forgotten Capital, which is the Water Ring. This boss has an attack called uh, Aqualung, which you can get as an enemy skill, and it's water-based. Basically, in this boss fight, we, we, we can't lose it. We, we, we are not going to be able, literally cannot lose this boss fight because it drains all water attacks. So every time this boss uses that attack, it's just going to heal Cloud. Cannot die in this boss fight. We've also given Barrett the Aurora armlet, which we picked up 
from a chest within the Forgotten Capital. Yeah, we brought Yuffie along and we, we've given her the ice ring. So, material wise, Cloud, I've not changed an awful lot. He's still got his nail bat. I've taken the elemental materia out of there and I've given him an all, just so the all can start getting a little bit of AP. Uh, long range, HP plus, counter attack and enemy skill. That is exactly the same as it was. If we move on to Yuffie, so this is the new member of the party. So let's see what we've done with her. We've given her steel, added effect and poison in her weapon. We've also given her barrier and all. We've also given her destruct, HP plus, enemy skill and all. This is a brand new enemy skill which you find in the Forgotten Capital. It's quite a tricky bugger to find this. It's literally just behind a bed. So we've given her that, so in the hope that she can learn Aqualung as well as Cloud. Um, Barrett, I don't think I've changed anything on Barrett. I've had no restore all, enemy skill and HP plus. So that's what Barrett's got with the it, within his Aurora armlet. So we're, we're on track to learn this pr pretty badass enemy skill three times now. Like I said, really, really pivotal moment of the story this. So uh, let's crack on and see what happens. And what you're gonna do, Cloud? I love you. You, you can actually move him as well. Like you, you've got, you, you actually move him. Um, it looks like he's gonna strike her down. I can't wait to. Like I, I've, I'm so far behind on rebirth. I cannot wait to see how they handle this in rebirth. I just can't. Ten-year-old me was absolutely scarred the first time he saw this. Oh, man. And, then, you know, it's still... It still completely hits you with, with that emotion. I'd never played a game where a main character had died ever. And... Yeah... It's it's it was brutal as a as as a as a ten year old kid. This was absolutely brutal. But here we are. Oh God! Do you know every time I I, I get chills. I get absolute chills. It's just... <laughs> what a moment. Oh. Right then. Come on, let's kick Genova life's arth. Birth life, yes, Genova life, right. Cloud, what can you do straight away? Right, Aqualung, you just attack. Yuffie's dead straight away, that's lovely. Uh, Barrett is going to die now, I believe. So, what we'll do now is we'll just have Cloud attack until her powers ran out. Her, it. Then we'll revive Yuffie and Barrett, and then we'll wail. As you can see, Cloud not taking any damage 
just being healed. And like I said, we'll just wait until the power has run out from Genova Life. We'll revive Yuffie and Barrett, and then we will go hell for leather on attacks. I also love how Aerith, Aerith's theme in this just plays throughout the battle. Like, it just... Oh, it just hits differently. Just hits so much differently, dude. Genova Life skill power is used up. Thank you. Right. Where are my Phoenix Downs? I need to sort these items out, I think. There we go. That's Yuffie. Still got a bloody eyes open. Yuffie. High, high potion? Nope. Phoenix down. Barret. Right. All art attack now then. And there we go. Genova life. Done. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, please do give the video a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII content. My name is Matt better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.